Hey you guys, so in this one I want to showcase some of my PCs starting with the Raspberry Pi and ending with uh, I don't know what, but I have a lot of mini PCs and honestly most of them I think that you guys are probably familiar with or acquainted with even if you don't know them by name, for example this Gigabyte is technically the de facto distro delves PC right now and I know a lot of you know that I have a Pine phone as well, but I also have kind of oddball stuff like this, uh, what is this thing called? An Azul Aspire? I don't actually remember when I got this. I'll put it here so you can see it's very odd. And then I have another PC that is, uh, it's a Zotac, Zotac Z-Box, but it's very glossy. It's very glossy and that makes it difficult to capture, so it's just a crummy old mini PC from, god, the early 2000s I think, and I've, I've never really done anything on the channel with it, but I have actually used it before. But yeah, let me start from the top and I'll dive a little tiny bit deeper into some of these. I figure a good place to start is the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. This is the 4 gigabyte version. I'm actually not super familiar with Raspberry Pis. I wish that I was, but it seems like every time I use them, I just have a really poor experience with them. Like the performance is really bad, and or I guess maybe not what I'm expecting it to be. I ran OpenSUSE Leap and, tum and or Tumbleweed on this machine for quite a long time, and I think I did a video on it. So right now I'm not really using it for anything, but we could use it for like a little ARM-based distro delps PC. It's running a Cortex A72. I don't, I don't claim to be any sort of uh, expert on Raspberry Pis and stuff, but like I said, I'd like to be, and it could be interesting to take a look at this sometime. Next in line is the old Pine phone, and I didn't realize that it picked up uh, grease stains from your fingertips and things. I turn it around, I mean, you can see that it's very, very glossy and that doesn't make for good videos, but um, it's a Pine phone and I kind of bought into the hype as an early adopter. Uh, the distros that I put on it, even like Postmarket OS or whatever, it, is that what it comes with? Yeah, Postmarket OS edition or whatever. The performance was just bad. Definitely not good enough to use as a daily driver, but um, this isn't really like a mini computer, obviously, but it's something that I could do videos on, so I wanted to show it off and see if anybody was interested in it. The first real mini PC that we're gonna kinda look at here, these, are, these aren't really deep dives, but we're gonna look at it, is the Teriza AK3V. And this thing is running an Intel Celeron Apollo Lake N3350. It's a dual core machine and I bought it specifically for and have used it for distro delves. The performance is very poor. I've used it a lot live, so people have seen this thing kind of perform out in the wild and it's very bad and it makes it difficult to record, so I don't use it all that often. Though with the built-in Intel Celeron, I don't know, it might make for an interesting comparison for the other machines here that I have. Next, let's take a look at this Azul Inspire, which is running an Intel Celeron Apollo Lake J4205. This is a quad-core machine, and I guess it is fanless. I don't really remember why I, I bought this, but it's not good, and if it is fanless, then I can't imagine the performance is going to be all that great. Though I'm curious as to what the power usage is. So if I were to look at these, I think it would be interesting to also take a look at the power usage because maybe you could just run this as like a Internet of Things hub or something like that. Though it's, it's surprisingly heavy, so maybe that's the heat sink, I don't know. Next in line is the current Distro Delves PC. It's a Gigabyte GB LCE 4105, and it's not a Gigabyte Bricks. Like I said, it is a Gigabyte mini PC. It uses an Intel Celeron Gemini Lake J4105. It is a quad core and it's surprisingly capable for what it is and that's what makes it such a good distro delves PC. Definitely plan on continuing to use this guy in the future because it's a good little PC. 
And now the last PC I have here to show you is the Zotac Z-Box AD04. And it's like, that's the camera you're looking at. It's very glossy, but you can kind of see it. It has a, it has like a circle here. And when it turns on, it glows green and it looks really cool. Like kind of, kind of looks a little bit like OG Xbox. And I liked it for that, but I don't know where the power supply is. And it's so underpowered. I think it's underpowered. This thing is an AMD E450. Yeah, E450. So it's a dual core from the days where AMD was still kind of figuring out their architecture situation. Basically everything underperformed, but it has integrated Radeon HD 6320 graphics. And when I used this as a little gaming console way back in the day, it was surprisingly capable but I couldn't figure out what RAM it needed and I ended up kind of scrapping the project, but it could be fun to kind of bring this back as an OG gaming console rig or something like that. I like taking old hardware like this and using Linux to breathe life back into it because it is old hardware, but like, you know, it's still capable. It could be, uh, I don't know, a high powered server or something like that. <laughs> high power in the sense that it uses a lot of power, not that it's actually like outputting, you know, performance cycles or anything. But that is it. So I don't know, this is a bit different format. It's more like the Open EG channel, the stuff that I do over there. But I wanted to start using this workbench as a place where I can actually, you know, work on stuff. I'm gonna take apart a computer, like one of these mini PCs. There's some of the other weird stuff I have. Like for example, I've got this old Panasonic Tough Book. And this thing is a bit of a trip. I wouldn't say that I have it. I'm actually kind of borrowing it, but I mean, why would I not want to show you guys this? Look at this. This is like Windows XP era. And I don't think I can zoom out. So I can zoom in, but there's nothing. I can't really zoom out. So I can't, I can't get the best shot for this, but it'd be fun to get stuff like this and then show you guys here on the workbench. Like, why not? But the Panasonic Toughbook is not for today. Maybe for another time. Because that is going to wrap this one up. So if you like this video and you like this style or format, definitely let me know. And maybe I shouldn't do this while I work with this very loud metal, metal latch here, there. All right, we're done here. <laughs> so yeah, if you liked it, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments and all that jazz. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.